Let us now prove why higher the indifference curve, the better it is. So let us try and write down the statement. Higher the indifference curve, more is the utility. Now, let's say that I take an indifference curve. The indifference curve is drawn for two goods, x1 and x2. And I take any bundle. I take a bundle such as, let's say that this bundle is x. Now, what I do correspondingly is that I go ahead and I plot another point. And let's say that this other point is y. And the point y is plotted in a way that I have the same amount of good 2, but y has more of good 1. Please notice. So, you know, point y is such that y has same amount of x1, but sorry, same amount of x2, but more of x1. How do I show that? For example, you know, my y can be this. So, for example, my y can be 3, 5 and my x can be 1, 5. Okay. So, you know, y has 3 units of good 1 and 5 units of good 2 and x has 1 unit of good 1 and 5 units of good 2. And now I want to introduce a very uh, new concept, the concept of monotonicity. So, monotonicity... states that more is preferred. Simple. What is meant by more is preferred? By more is preferred, I say that if two bundles have same amount of one good, then whichever bundle has more of the other good will be preferred. So let's try and understand what this means. For example, if two bundles, see what I've written, if two bundles have same amount of one good. This also has five units of good two and this also has same five units of good two. If they have same amount of one good, then whichever has more of the other good, this has three units of good one and this just has one unit of good one. Whichever has more amount of good one will be preferred. This is the concept of monotonicity.